Ladies, gents, boys, and girls, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the video. Glad to have y'all here. This question I get super duper often. This is when should you get more marches? Or I like to think of it as kind of like consolidation versus march expansion. Consolidation, I would refer to it as something where perhaps you're making the marches you already have better. And I would say expansion is obviously expanding marches. Right now I have generally about four marches that I would run if I was not in Orleans. If you're in Orleans, you definitely want to consolidate marches, especially if you're a newer account, just because auxiliary skills are really, really important. However, if those are not the case, then it's more of a question. Generally, if I'm running four marches, these are the four things that I am running. For me personally, right now, I'm considering about expanding my marches. When you should consider expanding your marches, right? The first thing you have to think about is what kind of commanders do you have? Do you have commanders that protect each other? Do you have commanders that deal debuffs? Do you have commanders that deal damage? So when we talk about transitioning to Season of Conquest, which is generally when people have to consider about, are they going to go wide and get a bunch more marches or consolidate them? First thing you're thinking about is damage. I have to do damage on the field point blank period. The damage can take the form of Scipio YSG, which is a march that basically everybody has access to. You have YSG pre-sock, you get Scipio in sock, Scipio YSG, boom, 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 done. Solid march, does a ton of damage. Also has a really good debuff, covers his allies, his fourth skill gives everybody shields, gives damage reduction, super strong. The second march you're generally looking for is going to be something like Nevsky Joan. Nevsky Joan is also going to hit like a truck. However, the debuff is really, really important. And these are going to be like two very high damage, high priority marches because you're going to be looking for the debuff from Nevsky, the debuff from Scipio, and you're going to be looking for the damage from Nevsky Joan and the damage from Scipio YSG. So these two pairings should generally be looked at ASAP, right? Because damage is generally the most important thing you can get as fast as possible. After a couple marches like these, perhaps you should start considering debuffs. A good debuff march could be something like Boudica ZL. Another option would be building out another infantry march. You could do something like Gorgo LC. I think that march is probably going to be absolutely disgusting. So going for a second inf in that case is probably not a bad idea. But again, that's a damage march. The more marches you have that do damage, the better off your debuff marches are going to be. So let's say you end up going for Gorgo LC after you go for Scipio YSG and Nevsky Joan. Or if you have Minamoto, let's say you have Nevsky Mina and then you have QB Joan and then you have Scipio YSG. Then once you're looking to your fourth, you have those two options, assuming you're FTP or not. At your fourth march, you really, really want Boudica at this point, right? Because she's going to be a debuff march. Is Boudica going to do the most damage on the planet? No. And quite often, frankly, Boudica is going to get absolutely trashed on the field. However, when she hits somebody, Boudica is applying the 35% skill damage taken increase, right? This debuff is crazy. So that's a really, really good thing. Now, once you start having four marches like that, a really good idea is to add something like Guan. You're going to add something like Guan Yu because Guan Yu has one of the best abilities in the game, okay? Silencing something for three seconds is better than reducing their damage. It's better than buffing yourself. It's better than buffing your allies. Why is it better? Because being able to silence three targets for three seconds means they're not gaining rage for three seconds. They're not activating their primary abilities. They're not getting rejuvenate. They're not getting their secondaries. They're frozen. This commander is absolutely legitimately disgusting. Every single time a meta comes around, people talk about Guan Yu not being on there. If I'm having one infantry march in this game right now, it is probably Scipio and LC. However, if I'm having two, it's probably Guan, Sip, Gorgo, LC. With that being said, Guan is just such a disgusting commander. If you have a five march, he's probably going in there, right? He's going to be a utility commander. He might do some damage, right? But he's not a damage dealing commander. We have our debuff commanders, right? Like Scipio, Nevsky, Boudica. We have our damage commanders like ZL, Joan of Art, QB. And so that's kind of how we're going to break this down. So when we look at our current comms, we're going to be looking at a five march that looks something like Nevsky Joan, Boudica ZL, Juan Scipio, Gorgo LC, QB William. This could change from QB William depending on uh, when the next Archer march comes out. Go from QB William to the new Archer with YSG. So these are our marches generally that we're looking for as our late game blueprint. We want to get here. So when should we get here? Uh, we're looking for minimum gear. Now this is before the gear update. So there's going to be a gear update in a few months and the minimum gear here may change to the KVK gear depending on what's going on. But if you're an infantry player, generally having four piece of set is really important. So having four set pieces to get the 10% uh, march speed is really important and getting the whole cloak is really important. Granted, that is kind of hard to get. So if you cannot get all of this, it is okay to simply go probably something like helmet, gloves, and whole cloak. The reason why you don't want to get the boots is because the boots are going to be for Cav. Minimum's over here. The minimum you're going to look for is the boots of the Hellish Wasteland. If everything else is purple and maybe like Expedition Helm, that's okay. You'll live. As long as you got the boots and as long as you got the rest like purple and an Expedition Helm up here, that's fine. 
you're rocking archers. Everything can be purple. You want the chest to either be A, a dragon's breath plate, or B, a milky way. You have to have minimum gear for your marches before you put them out. If you have any worse than this, it is not going to work for you. Another thing is going to be how well can you level up these commanders. So Boudicca at 5551 is a completely functional commander. Unless she's got Artemisia as a secondary commander, having uh, her expertise is really not that important. As well as, you know, getting Guan Yu to 5155 and not getting the expertise is totally fine. On the flip of this, like a 5551 Scipio is pretty good. However, if you pair him with Guan, you really want that expertise. His four skill is also really nice and I would suggest getting it, but it's not immediately mandatory. A commander that really should be expertise is probably Nevsky. Technically, you can 5551 him, but you would want to expertise him. So let's say if you just get to Season of Conquest, right? You might want to go wide into three marches. This might be something like Nevsky Mina or Nevsky Joan. It might look something like Scipio YSG. And then maybe you add a second infantry march or you go for Boudicca ZL. Or you could do something like Scipio LC and then Boudicca YSG. So once you have those three marches, you might have a 5551 Scipio. You might have a 5551 Nevsky you might have a 5115 Joan and you might have a an LC that's like 5551 or 5511. All these piecemeal commanders are not bad. They're good and you put them with their minimums and they might function. However, if you have all these piecemeal commanders, you really don't want to just be expanding them immediately unless your time is a factor. So if you only have so many hours in a KVK, so for example, last KVK, I must have fought like 80 hours. I fought something crazy. I, I was, I was for real. I was, it might've been more, honestly. I was on the field all the time fighting and I got maybe a billion KP. If I had two more marches, even if they were worse, I probably would have helped. I still had speeds and I still had some resources when I finished the KVK. I probably, had I expanded harder, would have been able to fight that specific KVK better. Would I be able to fight other KVKs better? The jury's out. Your time is a very important factor when you're considering if you want to consolidate or not. If you consolidate your commanders, generally they will be more efficient. Point is, your ability to fight and the amount of time you have to fight is very important. Generally when you consolidate marches, unless it has to do with maybe getting like Scipio, Nevsky, like those two marches should probably hit the field around the same time. Even if you have to half-ass both of them, you should probably have those ASAP. Those are just solid, super solid marches, regardless of how much or how little time you have. But again, if you have really little time, a lot of resources, a lot of speeds, you want more marches. A lot of time, less resources, less speeds, less marches. There are certain commanders that you'll basically never have to expertise. Commanders that you really should be looking to expertise are like LC, Nevsky, Scipio, Zuliang, right? Like these are commanders that you really have to expertise. Comms that you don't have to expertise. Juan can always be a 5155. Boudicca can basically forever be a 5551. Joan of Arc at 5515 or 5115 are both really fine, um, even in the hyper late. These are not commanders where you kind of have to like trip over yourself to keep investing in. So if you want to expand past those, that's generally okay. And again, once you get your gear minimums, you don't want to be stockpiling too many sculptures or investing sculptures in places where they shouldn't belong. So if you have like 700 sculptures and right now you're rocking three marches, and you're looking at Boudicca and you're like, wow, I have so many extra sculptures. Like for example, I have 587. My decision here is A, am I going to expand into another march or B, am I about to expertise Boudicca and Joan of Arc? I'll tell you what I'm about to do. I'm about to expand to another march, right? I have the gear for it. I know what I'm going to do. I know what I want. I want LC. So this is where I would expand. Some people, if you didn't have any type of speeds or any type of resources, perhaps you would want to consolidate on Boudicca or Joan of Arc. Me personally, I'm not a huge fan because I have a lot of time. This is my job after all. And so I would rather just go to more marches because I know that I can chain more barbs and I can get more speeds. It all has to do with what you can fund and how long you can fight with the extra less efficient marches because they'll be less efficient in terms of they'll be taking more damage, but they'll be more time efficient in terms of getting you more kills faster. At the end of the day, generally consolidating is going to be your safest bet. The only two commanders that really have to be hitting the field, and again, I've repeated this a bunch of times, but if you guys are ever curious, Scipio LC or Scipio YSG and Nevsky Joan or Nevsky Mina. Those two marches are really, 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 really strong. If you can make sure that at least Scipio and Nevsky are both on the field, you're good to go. Those have to be there. Past that, you can start to consider, should I consolidate, should I not? And you can use the things I talked about in this video and the marches I discussed in this video to decide where your path should be and how it should be and why it should be that. I hope this video was helpful. It's kind of difficult sometimes because I quite often am looking at account uh, coaching. By the way, if you guys are interested in account coaching, I do coach accounts for $35 a session. Uh, on stream and $75 a session off stream. If you guys are interested in that, make sure you go to the Discord in the description below and make a ticket and just say, hey, I'm interested in coaching. 
but I find myself uh, very often coaching accounts and I'll be doing so on stream. And then after I finish coaching session, someone will ask me, well, why should they have gotten more marches when the last guy shouldn't have? Obviously, generally I ask a, a whole ton of questions uh, to get like kind of like a diagnostics report on the account to figure out where things should be going. But I hope this kind of cleared up my thought process on when I look at accounts and what questions that I'll generally asking to figure out, should you be expanding? Should you not be expanding? Um, and the fe feasibility of such. If you guys enjoy videos like these, please consider dropping a like, a follow, consider subscribing. Uh, make sure you join that Discord in the description below. If you guys are ever looking for notifications before we go live or getting notifications whenever we have any kind of announcements or anything, make sure y'all go to that Discord, go to the role selections tab and turn on announcement and stream notifications. Also, we have a PO box. If y'all are ever interested in sending anything there, we are going to be making a video once we get like five or six packages. Um, if you guys are interested in having whatever you send be in a video, be that a t-shirt with like a big print of your jumper group or a t-shirt with, I don't know, never mind. I'm not gonna give you guys any ideas. <laughs> Point is, send whatever you wanna send. I'll probably have it in the video. Love you guys all to pieces. Ladies and gents, thank you so much for showing up. Share it with your friends. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff and have yourselves a great one. Bye-bye.